Welcome back, everybody. You are tuned into the Now Morning Show right here on TTT. Remember, we're also on Talk City 91.1 FM and TTT Live Online, streaming live on Facebook. With me this morning are two individuals who are steeped in our culture. And when I talk about our culture, I mean the steel pan itself, which is which was made and, and bred here in Trinidad and Tobago. With me this morning is Dr. Jimmy Finney. He's a percussion uh, person as well, and he's from the Indiana State University. And with me as well is the manager of the St. Margaret's Youth Steel Orchestra, Kurt Abram. Good morning, gentlemen, good morning, and welcome. Good morning, good morning. All right, so I understand you have some events coming up, and there are four individuals who have actually come into the country to support these events. Um, let's speak of, well, Dr. Jimmy Finney is one of them, and um, as well, we are speaking about Dr. Dawn Batson, Dr. Brett Abigana, uh, and Edwin Anderson. Yes. Tell me a little bit about their scope on things, um, and then I'll speak to you directly, ah, doc you. Dr. Finney. Okay, their scope, Dr. Dawn Batson is world renowned, Trinidadian born, Trinidadian bred. Uh, she has always been involved in our culture. She is a, a musical ambassador, consultant, you know, internationally. And um, she has always wanted to be here in Trinidad, you know, and um, helping us in order that we could get the international recognition of our instrument. Her, her goal outside there is that uh, she's a consultant and she tried to take, you know, for people to understand Pan and to accept it universally, accept it as a, num a let's say the number one percussion instrument. Right. That, that really is her goal. Dr. Jimmy F Finney, well, we, I will leave him to, to speak more about himself. Of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, Dr. Brett Abegania, he is an international composer. He, he has written pieces all around the world. He has belonged to the World Project organization that hosts um, international shows. He has written compositions um, for some of these events. And, you know, so he's well known. We met him at Carnegie in 2015. And after our performance, he had approached us and asked if he, if he wrote a piece, whether St. Margaret would play the piece. But we were like blown away. Right. <laughs> and then he had offered that any assistance that we may need in our small island, he is willing to assist. And, and now so, he's, so he's back here. He yes. Uh, so we have him here for the second time. <laughs> and then Dr. Edwin, um, not Dr. Mr. Edwin Anderson. We met him in Universal Studios. They also belong to Music USA. When we went to Universal Studio in Orlando, well, we won the competition. He was one of the adjudicators who now, when we, when we go to these shows, this is not about pan. This is about music, orchestra. <coughs> so we would have performed against wind instruments. We would have go against choirs, you know, everything else. It, it's a musical thing. We, we topped the program, and he was, you know, blown away. We were also impressed by his assessment and his understanding of the instrument. So we decided, again, we have, well, I approached him, and he agreed that, he would come to Trinidad at, at any time and offer the assistance. So now St. Margaret's has gone. Uh, we have always had our pan extravaganza. This is the twelfth year. And the classic all, this is our fourth year. Well, before we jump into that, I want to speak about Dr. Finney. Yes. Um, because, you know, um, you're here. So, you know, I want to hear from you right. about what your involvement is in, um, in these things that are coming up very soon. Right. Well, thank you. Uh, I have known Kurt, his wife Rosemary, and the daughter Chanel, who are the major organizers of this event, for approximately five years now. And even though I'm trained as a professional percussionist, I, I play uh, I play some pan, but also play timpani and uh, the various instruments you would see in a professional orchestra. But so I, I, I'm very comfortable in our various rehearsals making comments about the quality of the music. But the one thing that I have continued to get from the Abraham family. Uh, is that beyond steel drums, they're, they're most interested in these incredibly sharp, bright, young men and women trying to figure out how to use, utilize the same dedication that they show when they're practicing pans, the same intellect that they constantly demonstrate when they're practicing pans. Well, how can we get that to math? How can we get that to science? How can mm -hmm. we use those same skills in an English class? So even though my focus, again, is on the music, I'm 
constantly trying to think of ways that we can encourage these really young and brilliant students into broadening their uh, perspectives about life, about music beyond uh, still yeah, and, and investing those skills and dedication into um, the other areas yes, in the exactly. life as well. And coming up are these um, events. So just quickly, the classical, the classical or for the National Academy for Performing Arts, Napa, yeah. um, that is on Saturday the 20th. And then at St. Margaret's, the 12th annual uh, Youth Pan Extravaganza. That will be held at the Trinidad All Stars Pan Theater. All right. And you know what? Uh, with these four individuals with a breadth of experience um, and a lot to, to give to mm. these events and, um, and give their influence as well. Of course, we, we do expect that something, um, something great will come out of this. And you know what? Of course, we're grateful for their support as well. Uh, supporting that pan would be in the place where it should be, you know, well, of Trinidad and Tobago, and, you know, to be um, of that high level uh, and respected instrument internationally. Yes. Yes. So, um, and with that, I want to say thank you, gentlemen, for joining us this morning. Um, thank you for taking your time and to tell us about these amazing things, and we wish you the best moving forward with these events coming up. Thank you for hosting us and giving us the opportunity to share it with Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. All right. And we know, John.